What's up guys, Mark here from VIP Shop Management. Happy New Year, it's been a while since I made a video. Today I wanna to talk about schedule maintenance. Um, that's something we didn't have, I've always been asked about and I finally get the time to do it. Um, I did it a little bit different than anyone else, but I did it in a way that works and it makes sense. Let's check it out. Um, we have an estimate right here, let's say, what is it for this Lincoln MKZ? And we're gonna click on the plus sign right here uh, I'm sorry, not the plus sign, uh, vehicle uh, inspection right there. I put it right there for now, I might move it, but that's fine. Uh, under vehicle inspection, click on maintenance schedule, and it's gonna list the stuff for you. So let's say I wanna do whether 30,000 or 60,000, 150,000, doesn't really matter. You still have to check it, and you still have to check with the customer, make sure he, he hasn't, has he done that. Let's say he's, he needs an oil change, you can ask him, have you done the transmission fluid at this mileage? If no, check this one, check this one, brake fluid, um, uh, power steam, let's say it doesn't have it, spark plugs, we're gonna change that, air filter, cabin filter, fuel filter, maybe it doesn't have it, uh, drive belt, a PCB valve, uh, if you don't wanna do the wipers of the battery, tire rotations and alignment, let's add the brakes just for the fun of it and click add items. So it's gonna add all the items for you right here. Um, you still obviously need uh, the prices, right? And uh, like, you know, well, I need the transmission filter kit and I need um, the spark plugs. Well, let's, let's take it, let's put an example right here. Let's say you can always click on that job and just click on the plus sign and go to, let's say AutoZone And let's get the spark plugs. Spark plug. And let's get, uh, let's get six of these. Add to quote. And that's it, it does add it right there. You can lift it up and you can delete this one. That's how everyone else is doing it. But what if I wanna shop for all of these and have it fill it automatically? I haven't done this. Let me, where am I? I'm thinking of about doing this. Basically, I'll let you shop and VIP will check, let's say if you if, if, if there was brake pads on the, uh, on the cart for the front, it'll replace it instead of you adding it automatically. I mean, you're only gonna run into this issue if you're doing schedule maintenance where you have so many uh, stuff, right? Because otherwise, why do you even need to do that? Let me just move that. If you're just doing pads and rotors, then really simple, just click on the plus sign and hold, it's gonna add the labor automatically. Click or go to AutoZone, and let's say I'm doing pads and rotors. And pads and rotors. And just add this pads and add two of these. Do you quote transfer? So you see my point. So there is no need like to to have uh, what the way I did it. The way I did it basically is just what am I at again? Yeah, the way I did it basically is just for schedule maintenance. Well, at least now you have it. It's up to you uh, to check when it was the when the customer the last time did the schedule maintenance. Yes, we're gonna improve it. We might even check for when the last time the certain things were done. So if I'm gonna go here, I might automatically check your database, see when it was done. So all change up tells me the last date and the last um, and the last um, mileage. So. But anyway, this is just a startup uh, for schedule maintenance. Um, uh, what am I at again? See, I'm a little bit rusted. But anyway, until next time, thanks for watching.